Welcome to another episode of our Midwest Garden Pro Series. Today we're exploring a combination with a bold impact. This four plant combination uses a grass matrix with pops of tall natives, creating a very striking look for a larger corporate campus setting. Sporobolus heterolepis, or prairie dropseed, is one of the most versatile native grasses. The foliage only gets about two feet tall, but in mid to late summer, graceful arching seed heads float above the foliage. Prairie dropseed is a clumping grass, so it stays neatly where it's planted. It is so versatile, it can be planted as a single grass in a residential setting, or in mass, as seen here in an example of a corporate campus setting. The grass matrix base helps support weed growth and keeps moisture in the soil, making these types of plantings extremely low maintenance. To add some seasonal interest, there are three larger bold natives interplanted within the prairie drop seed, Coryopsis tripterus, Eutrochia maculatum, and Vernonia fasciculata. Coryopsis tripterus, or tall Coryopsis, is one of the tallest native plants, growing to be about five to seven feet tall. It has some flower power, flowering late July through October. Once it is done flowering, native birds enjoy the seeds. This plant can seed about, so it is best suited in more naturalized plantings. Eutrochia maculatum is another tall, striking native plant, reaching heights of four to six feet tall. A favorite of butterflies, Joe Pieweed produces large, rose purple flowers in August and September. It can grow well in garden soils, but can also handle wetter soils, making it an ideal candidate for stream plantings and rain gardens. The last plant in this combination is Vernonia fasciculata with its bright purple flowers. Its common name is ironweed as it has an extremely strong stem, allowing it to remain upright in almost any condition. Like Coryopsis tripterus, it can seed, which partnered with its overall height of five to six feet tall, does not make it an ideal candidate for residential gardens. Corporate campuses can be expansive and traditional cultivated plantings can require a lot of maintenance. These four native plants create a simple but striking mix that is low maintenance and beneficial to the environment. Try this combination the next time you have a large scale project. 